Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Welcome to My Time to Journal, an untrained person playing with lots of art supplies and having fun. Join me. Good morning, good morning. Um, I'm going to plan a journal, and it's going to be based on a National Geographic. I have done this before. I actually might do this in a different style of journal. I might do this in one of these little guys. This has 30 sheets. Um, what am I looking for? It says, and I think I got these at Target. I don't know if they're still there. They're probably... Or Walmart. I can't remember where I got these. But. Oh, it has lines. X that. I don't want lines particularly today. For this project. Alright, let's see. What this one has on the inside. This is a small one. Oh, it's very thin. How many pages? 32 sheets. This I don't think is going to work. It's too small. Too small and very thin. But never fear. I have a stash here. Hey, that rhymes. Never fear. I have a stash here. I kind of think... Okay, let's see. This is a mixed media one. Might use that one. Here's a James Burke one, but it has designs on it. I don't want to use that. These are pear tea sticker ones. Don't want to use that one particularly today. Oh, look. What a nice little thing. I think these I was saving these Christmas cards for a journal. Oh, here's a New York one. I don't know if I'll ever feel safe in New York again. Although I can't feel safe here. We had another shooting in South Carolina. We've had two uh, mass shootings this weekend. I don't know if anybody was killed in the second one. But they all sound like they're gang or arguments or something related. Okay, we're going to use this, mixed media. And then there was another mass shooting in Pennsylvania. So three mass shootings. Well, actually, this is not mixed media. It's thin. It's normal size, normal field paper. It's actually a little bit thicker than normal. But I don't know how many are, and I don't know where this came from. This was probably an insert in a something else. Okay, let's just go. One, I always use this side for a title. Excuse me. And sometimes I use this side for a, like a reason why. This is so small. I may not. I may do it all here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the middle. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If you know me, you know I love seven. So 14 works. And four, so we need 14 spreads. So I am going to plan a little bit, which I normally don't do. But I'm going to plan a little bit. This is from February of this year. And it's the rebuilding of Notre Dame, which I love. And I just picked this off the top of a pile. So that's what we're going with. So we have 14 spreads. We might just use the name, the number 14 a lot. Okay, 14 Nat Geo. Now, when I say we're going to use this as our journal, what I mean, and I've done this before, Curtie knows about this, and I need a little bit of a, let's just put it in here. 
We'll keep it in here, although it should be yellow. I think I have a yellow one. Okay. So, I've done this before. I need a thing of post-its. All right, here we go. Those are not big enough. Let's find another thing of post-its. Luckily, I have a post-it drawer. Okay. This is just the way I do it. And I need to clean off my desk from yesterday, which I have not done. So, excuse the mess. Um, we're going to focus on yellow borders. So, that might be like a main focus. And then what I do is I go through and I pick out stuff randomly. I'm going to try to do it different than I did last time. Okay. Now, don't forget, this will have other articles in here. This will be a spread, and I will focus on the layout. So I will have, if my stomach is growling, hopefully you can't hear it. I will have all the little lines. Are these showing up? Okay, all the little lines and the layout and one gigantic picture or spread or something. Like it is like the, what do you call those people? The artist or whatever, the journalist did for this spread. So we have page nine will be our first spread and we will focus on the layout. So let's go through and look at a couple other pages here. Okay, I love this, but I didn't want to do two page layouts at the same time, but I might. See, I love how this is broken down. Jose Naranya, Jose Naranya, love, love, love. Look him up and he has lots of organization. So page 17, I'm going to do another one. Maybe I'll do them all for layouts. Hmm. Should I do that? So what I'm saying is I will have these boxes, these lines, this, and whatever I decide to journal or uh, art journal or words or whatever, I will use this exact layout on my spread. So we have two now, page 17, another layout. I hope it doesn't all turn out to be layouts. Okay, here's the Notre Dame part. Uh, okay. This, oh, my stomach's really growling, sorry. Page 38. Lines. The lines from the scaffolding. I'm just going to, whatever art journal or whatever I do is going to have tons of lines. This is how, this is basically generating its own prompts is what it's doing or theme and then i'll just go consecutively that's kind of cool i would love to do a couple Okay, this, you can't pass up a good gargoyle. <laughs> okay, page 61 has to have a gargoyle somewhere. How do you spell gargoyle? Gargoyle, hopefully. All right, that's like a no-brainer. Might even use that one. Except I kind of want to save this one. Oh, here's another good, good gargoyle. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, another gargoyle. Okay. Uh, let's 
72, 73, 74, 75. Let's go with color. We have to use these color combinations. Page 75, color. So I'm going to go through and make all of my prompts like this. And I will journal this entire journal in here with this as my prompts every day. And that's as far as I will plan. Uh, I like the word history here. Might be, might use that. Sometimes I focus on a word then. Has somehow have to use the word history. And I'm doing this sort of fast so that I can get this video done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, here's another great one. Swallowed by the empty black night. Let's use that somehow. I don't know how. Title. Page 84. Title. Oh, I can't imagine climbing Mount Everest. Have we done color? Yeah, we did. All right, let's see if we can find another good layout page. We may have to go out of order a little bit. Oh no, what's this? What is this? A sunflower floret under a microscope. Oh, let's use this. Page 103, shape. This shape, now whether I just do the outline or I do all of the details, I don't know. Don't know, but that would be cool. Oh, there's going to be a lot of cool ones. I've just been watching these journals, these um, people on um, that YouTube thing, and it neuro neuro something journaling where it connects the neurons in your mind. It was developed by a Russian in like 2014. But you do like squiggly lines like I do a lot. And then you make them all curve. And then you start coloring in. Let's do one of those. 107. I can't remember what it's called. I happen to have my iPad right here. I wonder if something will come up. Because I looked at them last night. Hmm. I've looked at too much stuff already this morning, maybe. Oh, a neurographic. N-E-U-R-O, graphic. Okay. I've been wanting to try that. I've seen them a couple times now. And here we go, see? Osmosis, let the paper do the talking. That's what I say a lot. I don't like to plan. This will be some of the times of the most planning that I do. Oh, look, circles. And lavender. Okay. 109. Lavender circles. The word lavender is here. This is a lavender bud under a microscope. Lavender circles. Hopefully I can read my writing when I go back to it. Ooh. Oh, I wish we could stop killing each other. <laughs> Ooh, I like the shape of these pyramids. Pyramid to tombs of Kushite kings and queens. Huh. Maybe? We're running out. We need one, two, three, four more. 
Okay, here's a, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. I love maps. Let's do a map with a layout on the side like this. So map and layout. I don't know what it'll be about, but we'll have a map and a layout. 119. Ooh. This could be a challenge, but could we use the word unearthing and come up with some artifacts of our own? That's going to be a real challenge. I don't know how that one's going to end up. Unearthing. All right, we got two more. We're almost at the end here. Ooh. Well, that's a cemetery. I don't want to do anything that sad. Oh, but I love these pinks. Pinks. Maybe. Okay, we're going to have to go back through and backtrack a little bit. Let's go back to Notre Dame. See, I love that page for some reason. Okay, let's do the natural browns on page 47. Natural. That could be like a jelly plate. Browns. Making a stucco wall. As Robin McClendon says a lot, stucco, natural browns. All right, we got one more. Let's do another layout. Let's find a cool layout. And let's do it from an ad, which only are in the very beginning. See, I like this. Uh, let's do this right here. Let's do this. I've done this before. Inside cover, not the penguins. But we will have the layout and we will use the numbers, 8, 17, and 24 somehow. Layout and numbers. So each day we will start, we will do this order. Each day, we will come in and say, like, tomorrow we're going to do the layout on page 9 as our journal spread. Which I think is right here. So we have to have some kind of picture or art spread or collage. I don't know what. But we will have these lines. We will have all these sections. And they will have to mean something. I don't know how. I don't know what. But that's the fun of it. So play along. I've done this before. It's probably been two years ago. This Edgar Allan Poe keeps floating around, but I'm saving it for Halloween. <laughs> so here we go. This is our next journal. And this. But I think I have a yellow journal cover somewhere. If not, we might have to make one. I'm looking over here because I have a lot of journal covers over here. Might have to make one needs to be yellow for the border. Right? Right. All right. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow.